It's the worst unrest South Africa has seen in years. In the city of Durban, shops have been looted and warehouses set on fire. Some of the area's wealthier residents have reportedly chartered planes or helicopters and left. But others, like OK, can't afford to leave. His car dealership in Johannesburg was destroyed, one of hundreds of businesses targeted by looters. Now he has no money to support his family or to pay his 16 employees. My livelihood has been taken away from me in my eyes. I was sitting crying, helpless, because I can't do anything. The vandalism is overwhelming for the shop owner. She was planning on retiring from her party supply store. Now she must start over. Just explain to me why. I'm 55 years old. Retirement is here. I put in the Everything into my business. Everything. I've got nothing. No pension, money, nothing. With police often outnumbered, some locals have created their own vigilante groups by stopping looters to protect their properties. Looting has hit supply chains across the country, disrupting transportation, services, and manufacturing. Food, medicine, and fuel supplies are running short. Amid fears of violence, these customers are not allowed into this market. They must buy their food through a window gap. What began as protests against the arrest of ex-president Jacob Zuma last week escalated to riots. With a 32 percent unemployment rate, the unrest is also magnifying South Africa's poverty and inequality 27 years after the end of apartheid. I stole a few things like cold drinks and electrical appliances, as well as some paint. I guess the real reason is because we have nothing, and when you see other people stealing, at some point you realize that shops will close and you will be left with nothing. So you ask yourself, after all of this, how will I survive with the way things are? As calls to end looting and violence go unheard, many fear the unrest may lead to unprecedented economic damage. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.